Hi, I'm Arjun. Uh, today we'll see, we'll see module 3 in finite element analysis and uh, we'll derive potential energy functional for a beam element. Okay, this is a beam element given. Okay, uh, their, uh, uh, their bending stresses and bending moment are uh, shown clearly. And this is a small element which is considered for uh, analysis. That uh, small elemental area can be treated as dA and the small elemental length can be treated as L for the given element. Okay, so for this, so let us consider potential energy functional equation. So, U E potential energy functional equation can be written as one over two over the volume sigma transpose epsilon into dV. So now this is a potential energy functional equation considered for uh, beam element. Okay. Now, as we know that, as we all know that. Uh, from the general bending equation sigma b by y will be equal to m b by i so from this can we write we can write sigma is equal to m b by i into y and uh, we also know that stress by strain is nothing but Young's modulus stress by strain is nothing but Young's modulus from this we can write strain is equal to Young's modulus divided by stress Young's uh, strain is equal to sorry strain is equal to stress divided by Young's modulus sorry we can write uh, the strain is equal to stress divided by Young's modulus and now and uh, we can also write since for a three dimensional element dv can be written as d a into dx and uh, for this small elemental length we can write that as d a into dx so now we will substitute all that values into this uh, primary equation of uh, strain energy equation so which is u e is equal to 1 over 2 so since we have two parameters here one is over the length and one is over the uh, area so we will take two derivatives one with respect to length okay, uh, over the length and one with respect to area over the area sigma transpose epsilon so this dv can be now written as dA into dx and now we will substitute sigma as this function mb by i into y and strain as sigma by e so now we can rewrite this equation as 1 over 2 over the length over the area so m by m by i into y okay since we cannot take transpose matrix for this we will keep it as it is and strain is sigma by e so we will write m y by i into e into dA dx we will write this function as it is now in simplif simplification we can write this as 1 over 2 over the length over the area m square y square i square into e into dA into dx okay now this is a, a normal function that we can take and uh, since we know that m can be written as e i into uh, d square y by dx square and also uh, now wh what we can do is we can uh, separate this function okay uh, like this 1 over 2 over the length m square i square e into dx so this is over the length function and integral of area into y square into dA this is over the area function and we also know that integral of y square into dA can be written as i okay i uh, the, uh, and which can be substituted back into this equation these two and substituting back into this equation basic equation now we can write this as u e can be written as 
function u v can be written as and now back substitution 1 over 2 over the length so now m square is this function so now it will become a square i square d square y by dx square whole square into 1 divided by i square into e now in place of m we have taken this value and we are writing this as it is into dx it will be as it is and this entire term can be now taken as i into i so we can cancel one i and other i one i i e e so finally we will be left out with u v can be written as 1 over 2 over the length e i e into i d square y by dx square whole square into dx which is nothing but strain energy for a beam and we know that potential energy functional potential energy functional for a beam mm -hmm. we know that potential we know that potential energy functional uh, pi will be equal to strain energy plus work potential and so we just now obtained the value of strain energy which is 1 over 2 or e i by 2 over the length d square y by dx square whole square into dx minus now since work potentials will be negative 0 to l p into y into dx these are the work potentials acting and minus summation of point load into deflection of a beam and mm -hmm. summation of moment into m into y dash now this is a this entire equation is a potential energy functional for a beam